gonna yell. What's up guys? I'm super sweaty, I'm at the airport. I did not plan enough time for me to get here. Luckily my flight got delayed so I'm not rushing anymore, but this is my first time traveling without a wheelchair in an airport and I am way slower than I used to be. I'm flying over to Big Island to compete in the Queen Liliu Okolani race, uh, which is a big canoe race, it's 17 miles and it's my first like paddle competition. So let's go board the plane. I think this is gonna be harder than the actual race. I made it. Covered in sweat, but I made it. That was a lot of gear to lug around. I should have checked a bag. I just landed. Note to self, I gotta start checking my bag. It's not worth the extra money anymore. <laughs> About to meet up with the team and go check out the house that we're staying at. Let's go. So the first sign I should be worried is there's this really buff guy I said he was in the paddle race tomorrow. I overheard their conversation and they were like, oh, you're crazy. Why are you doing that? All right, so we just finished up our team dinner and uh, kind of got the game plan lay of the land for tomorrow. 17 miles, but we're trading places. So I'll probably be in the boat for about half of those miles. I'm meeting a lot of the paddlers for the first time. So it's like a whole new team, meeting the crew, the chemistry is gonna be all crazy. We don't know each other's strokes. So getting up at seven-ish, start doing some yoga. See you guys in the morning. I just took off my leg and I forgot to turn off the lights. <laughs> all right, it's about 6.50 a.m. About to have some team breakfast and then uh, talk about the game plan. So. We're gonna do trials because we don't take your word for sizes. It's for large last night. And it's, no, it's, it's, it's pretty yeah. tight, so. Yeah. Brandon. Yeah. That's good. When are you due? <laughs> 49. Hey, this, this came from the rice cooker, this is the rice pal. I know. Huh? I know who knows. This your plate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. About to hop on the boat. We'd be ship taking shifts, so I'm on the boat to start, but I'll be finishing out the race and doing a couple shifts because it's 17 miles and in a canoe, that's a lot. I do not know if I'm ready for this. To the race start point basically we're gonna have to go out and we're meeting with the crew and we're doing change outs on the water so like every five six miles or so we'll switch out who's in the boat back and forth i'll probably be in the boat two or three times uh the most i've ever paddled is like for an hour uh and this will probably be like two and a half hours uh, of my endurance but at least i have some breaks all right Loading up the first part of the crew. So we got the whole team yeah. on the boat. Race probably in it's an hour. When are we going? Now. Now? Okay, we're going to 10 now. So, 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, so the reason that we want um, the new paddlers in seat number five is, is so they can watch the timing of the paddlers in front of them. The one thing with the va'a is, is everybody has to be in sync. That's the main thing. The timing is the most important. Doesn't matter how big or strong you are. If you're off, you're actually causing the boat more problems. Long story short, they don't trust me enough yet. I gotta earn my right. <laughs> All right, we're about to change out. Uh, this time I'm just gonna go over and do it, but the next change out we do, I'll probably wear a head cam so we can see what the whole transition is like. We're about an hour into the race. About to do a little uh, tribute to 
some of the former teammates that have uh, passed away. Oh, okay. I'm good. I'm going to get them to you. We honor our departed. I'm going to say their name first and everybody's going to yell. Can this Pahu Puaha get here? Freddy! Aloha, In that, uh, in that last session on the boat I just had, my pants were completely ripped down the middle. <laughs> Her sixth seat was basically just staring at my bare butt the entire time. So I hope it encouraged a speedier stroke. Because <laughs> she didn't want to look at that anymore. Let's do it. Final stretch. <laughs> Enjoy the swim, bro. Yeah. It's only last another minute. Oh. Yeah. Ten or something? something. Nice guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna float away now. Goodbye. <laughs> I guess um, just briefly, how did you become disabled? I was hit by a drunk driver in 1986, walking along Kalani on the Oli Highway, and I lost a sister and a girlfriend in the accident, as well as um, the use of my legs. I've been a paraplegic now for 36 years, adaptive athlete for 36 years. I heard about a program called Pure Light that was based out of um, Kailua Beach on Oahu. And um, I was a tennis player and I was looking for other things to do. And me and my friend John Greer uh, decided together, hey, let's go check out this program and see what it's all about. And uh, we heard that they were giving free canoe rides to anybody with a disability and we just wanted to check it out. We were both athletes and we wanted to see what else was available on our island and we found Pure Light Hawaii which was basically the only adaptive ocean-based program on Oahu. I just love being on the water. I love being physical on the water. We're surrounded by it when you live on an island so you really want to connect with it. Um, all of our ancestors and you know family you know, they enjoy the beach and as a person living with a disability on Oahu or any of the islands, you know, you really want to be able to go with your family to the beach, you know, and hang out and go to the surf or go on the boat or go on the canoe. So I always wanted to be involved in that and not be, you know, the guy that had to stay home because I was in a wheelchair and disabled. So, you know, you can't go anywhere. You know, I wanted to, um, to be active and be involved with my family, included in the culture. My dad competed in contests, so I got exposed to those contests when I was really young, and I admired him, you know. Um, back then, it was, there was no jerseys, everybody wore a cap, 
you know, in the water to identify which color you were, you know. It was, you know, the beginning of competitive surfing. I got to see the, um, you know, the start of all of that competitive surfing up there on the North Shore. And my dad was involved in a lot of the longboard stuff in Waikiki. That was the culture that I was exposed to as a young boy. And uh, yeah, I never wanted to be taken away from that. And my injury put a pause to that for a little while before I figured out how to get back on a surfboard, get back on a canoe, get back to the beach, get back into the ocean to swim and do what I did as a kid. Um, and Pure Light Racing really was the pioneers of the adaptive paddling here in Hawaii, which has now spread around the world. Anybody doesn't, you don't have to be Hawaiian to enjoy the um, culture of paddling. Uh, so you can be on a lake, you can be anywhere in the world, as long as you have something to paddle with and a paddle and the will to go. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those sports that's amazing for adaptive athletes. It really gets you out there, gets you free. And uh, yeah, now there's paddlers from all around the world that are adaptive. So it's really cool to see that culture spread to all people with physical challenges. Let them know that, hey, this is possible. This is another way you can live your life. All right, guys, so we finished up race day yesterday and it was tricky to say the least. Yeah, of about the three hour race, I paddled about 95 minutes uh, and we did the final section. I filmed the whole thing on the head cam, but as you probably saw, all of it was pointed way too far upward. So most of it's not usable. So sorry about that. But the distance was intense. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it at some point. Definitely had some anxiety uh, going into it. And right before the finals, like knowing we were really gonna have to push. Overall, just everyone was supportive. Good group of guys, super helpful support. Um, really, yeah, great experience. Can't wait to do it again next year. I guess I'm a masochist or something. So off to the airport. My shoulders are super sore.